Whether it's in a police call box or a souped-up DeLorean, it looks like time travel will stick to fiction, and it's thanks to a lumpy nucleus. No kidding, a lopsided nucleus could be evidence against the possibility of time travel. Grab a beverage, this is gonna get a bit... Science -y. It all starts with a research paper in the journal Physical Review Letters titled Direct Evidence of Octopole Deformation in Neutron-Rich 144 Barium. In that paper, researchers noted a pear-shaped nucleus in the isotope barium-144. A similarly shaped nucleus had been observed with the isotope radium-224. And if you're like me, your first thought might be, yeah, so? Well, it turns out this is highly irregular in the atomic world. Atomic nuclei typically fall into one of three shape categories, discus, spherical, and rugby ball. The thing all three of those have in common with one another is that they're symmetrical. The pear-shaped nucleus of barium-144 is not, and therein lies the problem. See, we've observed a tendency toward the symmetrical in our universe. These isotopes figuratively thumb their non-existent noses at such a concept. It might give us a clue as to why we even have a universe at all. By that, I mean it could help us understand why, in the earliest moments of the creation of our universe, there was more matter than antimatter, allowing us to have a universe in the first place. Matter and antimatter annihilate one another. If there had been an equal amount of both, there'd be no universe for us to exist within. But what does that have to do with time travel? Unless you're trying to slingshot around the sun using a Klingon bird of prey vessel running on an antimatter engine, it shouldn't have any bearing, right? Well, not quite. See, the lack of balance within the nuclei could serve as a hint as to why time appears to move in only one direction. Space is different. We can go in pretty much any direction we want, if we have the right vessel to take us there. But time? It's not exactly on our side. According to the researchers, the nuclei point in a direction of space, which relates to a direction in time. It's almost like a compass in that way, only instead of north, the needle points to next. If this is true, and if time moving forward is a fundamental component of our universe, it suggests that moving backward isn't possible, no matter how fast our time-traveling ship might travel around the sun. Which is sort of a bummer if you had plans to, I don't know, visit the court of King Henry VIII or something. But then again, who would want to do something silly like that? On the bright side, if the team's conclusions are correct, it actually means we have a whole lot more to learn about our universe. That means new lines of exploration and experimentation. And it means our universe might hold more mysteries that we could one day understand, and perhaps even leverage in ways we can't even anticipate right now. But that leads me to a question for you guys. If time travel were possible, and you could go back to any era of history for a quick vacation, which era would you visit? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show. If you enjoyed this episode, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to join the forward-thinking think tank. I'll see you guys in the future.